Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to learn about demonstrative pronouns. You will be able to know the concept of demonstrative pronouns, forms, statements using demonstrative pronouns that is this, that, those, these. Demonstrative pronouns are words that point to specific things. For example, for example, this is Jim, that is Sally. We use this to specify an object or a person in the singular form that is near to us. See, if you can see over there, this is Jim, which is really near to that place. Now, let's talk about this example. This is a fruit basket which is really near to the pointed arrow. And as you can see in the another example, this girl is holding a pencil and paper, which you can see it's really near to that pointing place. So we use that to specify an object or a person in the singular form that is far from us. For example, this example is that boy is writing on a paper. As you can see, the pointed arrow is really far from that boy. So, that's why we use that for it. That boy is writing on a paper. Let's look at about the another example. That is my friend Lisa. And as you can see, the Lisa is really far from that pointed arrow. So, that's why we use that. This is all about the singular form. We have learned about this and that. This is for the nearest and that is for far. Object or a people for a person we use it, right? Now, this is all about the singular form. Let's talk about what if the things are the plural. You can see a fine clear day. The children are sitting on the bench and the tree houses house are there. What if we talk about the children? What about we talk about the nearest places the children are sitting? These are the children. And if you can look at the back of the trees, those are the trees. Those are the trees which are really far from the children. The, these are the nearest and those are the far. We use these to specify objects or people in the plural form that is near to us. That means we are, these are used for the plural form and make sure that it has to be near. When the objects are plural, plural means one or more than things. When they are plural in the form and near to us, then we are going to use these. For example, let's talk about the first one. These children are going for a walk. As you can see, the pointed arrow is really near to these children. Now, let's talk about the another one. These are Tom's flower pot. Now, this has actually been specified and as well as they have given us the statement that we have used these just because it's a plural. There is no one pot, right? So, we talk about these. Now, let's talk about those. We use those to specify objects or people in the plural form that is really far to us. For example, you can see the cuckoo clock. Those are cuckoo clocks. Why I have used those? Because it's really far from my pointing arrow. And that's why it's been written. Those are cuckoo clocks. Let's talk about another one. If you can see the wooden chairs. The pointing arrow is really far, right? It is actually pointing so far, it's really not really near. That's why we use those are chairs. Let's recap whatever we learned so far. For singular object and person, we are going to use this only for the nearest one, that for the far one. For example, this is my pencil, which is I'm holding right now. And that is my bag, which is really far from my place. What 
if it's been plural for the plural plural means more than one and if it's a plural object or people we are going to use these which are things or in people near to us and if it they, the things or people or people are far from us we are going to use those for example these are my friends those men are standing right next to the tree that's how it is this is a pencil that is a book these are books those are pencil so look how it is that and those are used for the far this these are used for near but what is the big difference this is only for the singular these are used for plural same as the case with that that when the object is really far and if it's singular we are going to use that and if the objects are really far and it's been plural so we are going to use those let's recap this is a pencil that is a book these are books those are pencils after knowing the concept of demonstrative pronouns what are the demonstrative pronouns which is actually specifying the objects pointing out the objects this that these those let's practice more about it there are few exercise for you let's reinforce the first exercise is just right in front of your screen question number one tells you to complete the sentence using this or these i hope you all are ready with your tear off or a post-it notes right in your hands and with a pencil once i'm just writing it down you just need to write the answer so that it will be giving you the recap and i'm going to reveal the answer soon question number one uh, first statement is the houses of dash city had many windows the city is singular so what are we going to use in this nice now look into the second one dash the blank is a nice cup of tea cup of tea is a singular what are we going to use in it what are we going to write in that blank this or these now number three i hope you people have written number three blank ships were loaded with containers now let's this statement is talking about the plural are we going to use this or these right now number four what do you think about blank t-shirts the t-shirts are plural what are we going to write this or these number five there are so many shops in blank shopping mall the shopping mall is singular what are we going to write in this this or these number six have you all have you read all of blank books books is plural so i hope you know that what we need to insert in this this or these let's look the answer script of question number one complete the sentence using this or these statement one the houses of this city had many windows city is singular that's why we use this number two this is a nice cup of tea cup is singular that's why we use this number three these ships were loaded with containers ships are plural that's why we use these number four what do you think about these t-shirts shirts 
a plural again. That's why we use these. Number five. There are so many shops in this shopping mall. Now let's, let's focus on this uh, statement. Many shops are plural, right? But we need to focus on that blank where it actually located right which is actually been placed before shopping mall so we need to look into the shopping mall only so shopping mall is singular that's why we use this so this is how the statement begins there are so many shops in this shopping mall number six have you read all of these books books again the plural so what we need to add these this is how the answers been written now i hope that you people have done it correctly 